guys, it's Harmony, and today we're going to draw the mermaid from Hook, not Peter Pan, the Hook movie. Just ignore this stick right here, but anyways, I'm going to be drawing this in pencil and not pad. So, like always, start off with you. And then the eyes. If you don't know how to make these eyes, just three circles and shade it. This will be an easy draw. There we go. And we will do the exact same thing with the other eye. Voila. Now you can't see whatever people, but that's okay. Next we make three curves. And we'll do extra bottom curves and do the same. And try to make them equal, okay? And now we can create our mermaid's mouth. Cap it off. Now the only thing she's missing is brows and her lips. There we go, and now it's time to do the trickiest part, the hair. So her hair is kind of flowing down, so we're going to make it kind of wavy here, and we're going to start her hair, make it wavy, but we're not going to continue her hair. We're going to make her body, so, so we're gonna make her her little body so so it kind of blends in with everything so you kind of create this dress shape and then add scales right here because her body and her tail are gonna be the same color so we're gonna make five fingers with the hip and we are going to make her hand be right here. Okay, now we are going to make the mermaid tail. So it's going to be a different color. It's going to be blue because I'm basing it off the Happy Meal toy. Here it is. So I'm basing it off by drawing off the Happy Meal toy. So her tail is going to be blue and if you make a mistake, that's okay. If you're working with the pencil, erase it. And now it's time to create the tail. So all you have to do is add a few strokes and strands here and voila! A mermaid tail! Now we can continue drawing her hair. So we're basically going to cut down because of her body. We, we stopped so we could create her body like see that. And then we are going to add some wavy elements like some swirls and whatnot. And you can add whatever you want to her hair. Okay, the basics are done. Now I get to color it. So the first thing I'm going to color is her face. So her face is going to be this tiny teapot tan color. The same color used for my phosphophyllite drawing. You should go watch that, by the way. But anyways, we'll continue coloring the face. This could take a while. And there. So that's basically it. Now it's time to color her lips. So I'm going to be using this cherry red color. And I'm just going to carefully color her lippies. She looks beautiful with those lips. So you'll actually have three colors. I'm using Raindrop Blue, Little Lemon, and Dink 
Drinky Pink. <laughs> that didn't think it said Drinky Pink. So here's Little Lemon and here's Red Job Blue. So we're basically going to color Raindrop Blue. This is going to be the main color of her hair. And after we're done coloring the main part of her hair, we are going to be coloring the rest of her hair. So this may take a bit of time, but don't worry. It's worth it. Anyways, let me tell you some things about why I love drawing. One, you can express your creativity and do whatever you want. Not like rules. You have to do this. That's what rules are. Two, drawing is when you're bringing paper to life. Like, you know, you're giving it life. Like, like you're giving your your drawing, it's like giving a baby. Like it's like getting a baby, but with a drawing. <laughs> Anyways. And three drawings are endless. Anybody anywhere can draw. And any time period, anybody can draw. And that's the expressiveness of creativity. Anyway, so we're going to use Dinky Pink, and we're going to make a couple of trees, and then use Little Lemon, and do the rest. It looks beautiful, and they're going to be in random parts, so this might take a while. But here are other ways why I love coloring and drawing. You have endless amounts of colors. You can color anything the way you want it to be. Like, for example, I'm making my own designs for Mermaid here. And it's just fun creating. And you can actually express yourself, if you know what I mean. And... We are done. Look how good her hair came out. So now comes the hardest part. Are you ready for this, guys? You must be the body. No, just kidding. We just need some baby lime and dick and pink again. Because those are basically the only colors used for Mermaid's body. This will be the easiest part. Can you believe it? It's an easy part. And on the Happy Meal toy, her body was the same color as her tail, which I don't know what was going on there. But anyways, let's just make it random green and random pink. Like that. And then we can express ourselves. Like, it's like you have a plate of food. What do you do with it? I'm going to create something with it, you say. But your parents are like, I don't know about that. And then you create a face out of those eggs that your grandma bought you. And then your parents are like, wow, our child knows art very well. So for the rest of her tail, oh, before we do that, there's a teeny tiny spot on her hand. There we go. Okay, back to the drawing. So before we color her tail, I'm gonna use itty bitty blue, and her tail is a different color from the rest of her body. So we're gonna make it seem like she has two parts of her body. This is probably going to be the easiest part for me, but highlights make the look. So we're going to distinguish the features with this toy poodle black color, especially on the dark blue, because black pops with dark colors. We're just going to round the eyes. And Make the eyelashes more bolder 
and the shading were bolted. Now this is my first time I bolted something and bolted the eyebrows and even bolted the lips. Cause you need crisp line work. And we can outline her hands. I'm doing the best I can, guys. Oh, that one's kind of out of order. There we go. And we'll outline her body. And then the shape of her tail as one separate piece. And then we, have, of course, we have to highlight mermaid's hair. So we're just going to make a couple of highlighting strands and make the mermaid's hair kind of like pop. You know what I'm saying. And we're done! And that is how you draw the mermaid from Hook the 1991 film. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to Welcome to Dorland and bye-bye!